task three says we need to advertise a default route to customer router one from customer router two and five. Do this in BGP and not OSPF. The problem on customer router one is it's learning a whole range of BGP routes. It's learning routes from both neighbors, 8192 and 8112. And that reminds me on customer router five, did I advertise 8191 into BGP? So show run section BGP. I didn't advertise any networks on customer router five. What I should do is advertise network 17110 with a mask of slash 24. That's the subnet. And is that network advertised on customer router two? Let's check. Show run section BGP. This customer network is advertised, but it's advertised with the wrong mask. So router BGP 65,000, no, remove this network, add it back, but use a slash 24 mask. Now I could either redistribute this network and this network into OSPF, or advertise it into BGP, or use Nextop self to make sure that Nextops are reachable within this autonomous system. On customer router one, you'll notice that none of the routes are being put into the IP routing table. Notice customer router one is learning all those BGP routes, but none of them are being put into the IP routing table. And that's because the next tops are not valid. Next tops that we see are 8192 and 8112. That's ISP router six and ISP router one. So I'm gonna configure next hop self on customer router five and customer router two. So in customer router five, router BGP 65,000, neighbor 171772, next hop self. And I'll do the same for customer router one. Use next hop self. Customer router two, same thing needs to be done here. I didn't configure next top self on the neighbor relationships, and I'm not redistributing this network into OSPF. So the next top is not reachable by the other routers. So router BGP 65,000 neighbor 171771 next hop self. Same for customer router five. Now back on customer router one, let's see what the IP routing table looks like. That looks a lot better. We're seeing a bunch of routes here. Show IP BGP. We're seeing routes now with the next hop set to 171772 and 171775. What I'll do here is clear the BGP routing table but use soft to force updates but not kill the neighbor relationships. So notice again, we see this network with a next hop of 171775, which is customer router five, and this IP address, which is customer router two. But we've been told to only advertise a default route to customer router one from customer router two and customer router five. And we need to do that in PGP. So as an example, on customer router two, we have a BGP relationship to customer router one, but we're not limiting the routes sent to that customer router. So as an example, show IP BGP neighbor 171771 advertise routes shows us that we're advertising a lot of routes to that neighbor. We wanna limit the number of routes advertised to customer router one. So to do that, I'm going to use a prefix list so router BGP 65,000 and a tip in BGP, if you're not sure how to do something, look at the options on your neighbor command. In most cases, you are binding and manipulating everything on the neighbor relationship. BGP is an application, uses TCP. 
So you're going to do everything on the neighbor relationship. So I'm going to advertise a default route, but that won't be good enough because we'll still be advertising all the specific routes to that neighbor. So in customer router one, notice we see a default route from customer router two, but we still see all of the other routes. This command allows us to advertise a default route to customer router one, but I need to use something like a prefix list to limit the traffic sent to that customer router. I'm gonna simply call this prefix list default route, and I'm binding this outbound from customer router two to customer router one. So the prefix list that I'm gonna create is called once again default route. I'll specify sequence number of 10. You don't have to do that. It's done by default. And I'm going to permit this prefix. Default is to deny. So clear IP BGP star soft. What does it look like on customer router one now? Previously, we had both a default route as well as other routes advertised to the router. Notice we only see this route from customer router two. So show IP route. We see a default route in the BGP routing table, but we are still seeing these routes advertised by customer router five. And there's a problem here because it's not advertising all the routes that it should. So we'll have to investigate that. But before I do that, let me simply advertise a default route from customer router five to customer router one. I can essentially copy the configuration from customer router two. So going back to customer router two, show run section BGP. And actually let's begin with BGP. So we see our prefix list. We're going to copy this command to customer router five. So router BGP 65,000, paste that command in. And we're also gonna copy this to global configuration. And then I'll clear the BGP relationship. So back on customer router one, previously we saw these routes. Now we only see a default route, but we're only seeing that from customer router two. So show IP BGP summary, neighbor relationships are established but we're not receiving any routes from customer router five. So on customer router five, show run begin BGP. There's our BGP configuration. Show IP BGP summary. We are receiving routes from the upstream ISP routers. Show IP BGP. Routes are valid and we are selecting best routes on this router, so show IP route. Notice we are learning a lot of BGP routes. So as an example, can customer router five ping this IP address? Ping 17.121, yes it can. So show IP BGP neighbor 17.17.17.1 advertise routes. Notice no routes are being advertised to 17, 17, 17, one. If we go back to customer router two and use the same command, show IP BGP neighbors 17, 17, 17, one, advertise routes. Notice a default route is being advertised to the neighbor, but we don't see that on customer router five. So show run, begin BGP on customer router two. Let's see if I forgot to do something. Show run, begin BGP. I forgot to add the default route originate command. So that's why I'm not advertising a default route. So router BGP 65,000, paste that in. Show IP BGP neighbors advertise routes. Let's clear the BGP relationships. Notice now we see 
that a default route is being advertised. So back on customer router one, show IP BGP, notice we are learning about the default route from multiple neighbors, but the selected option is via ISP router two, which means that that is the route put into the routing table. So if I trace to 17.1.2.1, the traffic is going to customer router two, then to ISP router one, ISP router three, ISP router two, and customer router three. So it's working, but traffic is taking the wrong path based on the set of tasks that we were given. But at least we've configured customer router one correctly. It's receiving two default routes from customer router two and customer router five, which means that those routers are correctly configured.